Welcome to all of you. My name is Yoginder Tomar. I am your friend and instructor. So today we will discuss about a very important topic. The topic name is what is the difference in between block storage and object storage. So in order to clear this difference, let's go to the scenario. So we will create a scenario to understand the difference in between the block storage and the object storage. So if we'll talk about the block storage whatever the file we have to save it will be divided into equal number of even blocks right let's say we have a file the file name is file dot doc so this is a file and uh, this file we need to save inside the block storage let's say we have this block storage and we need to save this file inside the block storage so how this file will be saved inside the block storage first of all this file will be divided into equal number of blocks right so after dividing the file dot doc into the equal number of blocks all the blocks will be saved inside the block storage so let's say we have uh, the file and the file will be divided into the equal number of blocks like this way so after dividing the file into the blocks so this is a block 1 block 2 block 3 block 4 block 5 block 5 6 block 7 and uh, multiple number of blocks will be created after the division of the file into the equal number of even blocks so every block storage will have an index number to get identify which block is located in which block address let's say the block number one is stored on the first location so we can have the block number one block number two second for the third one block number three right so this is the background that how the equal even number of blocks are storing in the block storage and one more important thing that block storage is uh, using for the EC2 instances right we have a computer or the virtual machine or EC2 instance and this EC2 instance contain an operating system windows operating system and this windows operating system will be save will be installed inside the block storage so block storage will be useful only for installing the operating system and uh, we can use the block storage just only for adding inside the EC2 instances only I hope so you are very much cleared with the block storage now if we will talk about the 
object storage in the case of the object storage the information will be saved as a whole the object will be saved as a whole it will not be divided into the number of even blocks let's say the object is file the file name is abc dot exe so this file will never divided into the equal number of blocks the file will be saved as a whole inside this object storage as it is so that object can be your file that object can be your metadata that of that file can be your GUID anything so whatever the information will be stored inside the object storage it will never be divided into the number of blocks so it will be save as a whole object it can be your file the file can be your Microsoft Microsoft doc document file it can be exe file it can be music file it can be the uh, video file any kind of format file we can store as a whole inside the object storage we can store the metadata information also what is metadata metadata means the information ex in about the file or folder for example let's say we have a file with the name abc.exe so what is the total size of the file in bits or bytes this comes under the metadata date of creation of file that also comes under the metadata so information or the extra information regarding the file or the folder will be called as metadata example what is the total size of the file in the bits bytes megabytes gigabytes so this information is called as metadata the date of creation of the file is also called as metadata so the metadata information we can save as a whole inside the object level storage the example of the object level storage will be your s3 s3 storage what else google docs one drive so these are the few examples of the object level storage so if you will summarize what is object level storage we can conclude that object level storage will store the information uh, as a whole the object the information or the data will not be divided into the number of chunks it will never get divided into the number of equal blocks but in the case of the block storage the data will be divided into the number of chunks or the number of blocks and that chunks or the blocks will be equal in size wherever the chunks will uh, chunks or the blocks will be stored will have their unique index number in the background so that's the de what that that's uh, because we want to access the information or the data from the ec2 uh, from the block storage as it is when it was 
when it was uh, stored at the time of the storage and the block storage we can use inside the EC2 instances or the virtual machine as a virtual machine uh, and the operating system will also install inside the block storage thank you very much I hope so that uh, today's session was very informative to all of you and uh, don't for forget to subscribe my channel if you want to see or watch my latest videos that I will load in future thank you once again